the painters of the great classical tradition. There are Chinese painters who specialize in family portraits and do these very formal paintings of someone's ancestor sitting on a throne. It's quite a different uh, category. But the Taoist-inspired painters, the Zen-inspired painters, have this view of man as an integral part of nature, something in it, just as everything else is in it, flowers and birds, and not there, sent into this world, commissioned by some sort of supernatural being to come into this world and farm it, dominate. self-governing, indeed democratic organism. But it has a totality. It all goes together, and this totality is the Tao. So then we move to a second term that is extremely important. Uh, the expression Zhiran is the, the term that we translate nature when we translate Chinese.
without attachment, karma, action. Whatever he, whatever action he does, he renounces the fruits of the action. This term expresses this whole point of view. It doesn't say nature, natura, uh, which means in a way class of things. It means literally self so. What is so of itself? What happens of itself? And thus spontaneity. And in the Tao Te Ching early on, Lao Tzu says, the Tao's method is to be so of itself. Now, we might translate that automatic, were it not that the word automatic has a mechanical flavor. as this is called, or Shizen in Japanese, means spontaneous, yes. It, it happens as your heart beats. You don't do anything about it. You don't force your heart to beat. You don't make it beat. It does it by itself. Everything happens by itself. It doesn't have to be controlled. It's allowed. The, uh, whereas, you might say, uh, the idea of God involves the control of everything going on.
The idea of the Tao is the ruler who abdicates and lets all the people, trusts all the people to conduct their own affairs, uh, to let it all happen. So, this doesn't mean, you see, that there isn't a unified organism and everything is in chaos. It means that the more liberty you give, the more love you give, the more you allow things in yourself and in your surroundings to take place, the more order you will have. believed generally in India that when a person sets out on the way of liberation his first problem is to become free from his past karma. The popular theory of karma, the word that literally means action or doing in Sanskrit so that when we say that something that happens to you is your karma it's like saying in English it's your own doing. Indian belief. The karma is a sort of built-in moral law or a law of retribution such that all the bad things you do and all the good things you do have consequences which you have to inherit.
have to work it out. endeavors to do is a kind of action which in Sanskrit is called Nishkama Karma. Karma continues you in the wheel of becoming samsara, the round, and keeps you being reincarnated. <laughs> 